Unlocker to watch it paint it with back paint. And another character, Johannes from Zombicide Green Horde. Benson's going to be painting this one. Congratulations on the motivation tasks we did before. Uh, you smashed the subscriber one and Benson's helping me out so I can pack. He's painting this. I still have to do the editing and the audio, but you know, it's not quite as much work as before. So hopefully you enjoy this. If you do, give him a big thumbs up below. He started off painting the robe of Johannes with toxic boils and corn red, about five to one ratio, it's five drops of that purple and one drop of that red, just giving it a more of a pinky, pinky tone than the purpley tone. Next is Hash Up Copper, that one's by Citadel, and he's gonna be painting on Johannes' uh, sort of armor, I guess we'd call it. So he's got shoulder pads, elbow pads, knee pads. He's got a little chain choker necklace bit round his neck as well as a couple of rings holding his uh, cloak together nicely at the top. Next up is Corn Red by Citadel and Benson's going to be applying this to the whole of the cloak. So all of Johanna's cloak is quite a big part. This will, this will take you a little bit of time but it's not very difficult at all. The only difficulty you might have, make sure you've got a sharp point on your brush and that will be for doing sort of over his shoulders where you've already painted his robe in that pinky purple and his, his that hash up copper. So you want to take a little bit of care there and just around his arm as well. And then you've got the little bit through his legs, but it, it, his legs are spread quite wide open. So you'll be able to get your brush thoroughly between them. Next, we're going to be painting the studded leather, studded cloth that uh, he's wearing on his legs. Benson switching to Wazdaka red for this. You could just use the same red that you did the cloak, depending how you're going to go about shading it. They're very similar and the lighting is so weird on the cards. It's hard to tell what's what. Carrick stone is going to be used on the sort of cuffs of his sleeves. Um, you could use skeleton bone if you've got the army painter set. You want a sort of bony, sandy colour for, for those parts of this model. We're also going to use the same colour to paint in Johanna's leggings. They look slightly light grey in the artwork, but Benson hadn't realised that uh, Johanna's had legs if you turn the card the other way around. <laughs> so he's working just from the top so side of the card, unfortunately. But I think it's nice to tie in those colours anyway. It's always weird to use lots and lots of different colours on, on models. Abaddon Black's used next, that's by Citadel, and this is for the sheaves of his dagger, uh, his sword round the back, and he's also got a, a pouch or a couple of pouches holding these scrolls up for, for him. This character is a bit of a mix, isn't he? I've not, not read the card actually to see what he, he is and does, but he looks like he's got ranged spells and a sword. He's a bit of an all-rounder perhaps. Painting the hair next, Benson's going to mix Mournfang brown and a bad and black, about five to one, just a splash of black. He's really just darkening down that brown. I'd probably use charred brown by Vallejo if I had it. Benson obviously didn't have it to hand and, well, he may well have wanted to mix the colours anyway. It's always fun mixing up some new colours, especially if it's only for a small area. You don't have to worry about running out of that colour and remixing the exact one again. But for a quick splash like that, there's no harm in mixing colours and having some unique colours on your model. He's going to use Yushabti Bone next, and that's really just to paint the base coat for the scrolls on this model just there, and as well as the, the strings, the ties for his uh, robe. Next is White Scar. Benson's going to use that to paint in the hourglass that's in his sort of satchel bag down there, just giving that a nice different contrasting colour to those scrolls so you can sort of see what it is a little bit better. Steel Legion Drab next. This is to start painting on Johanna's boots. Now, unfortunately, as I mentioned before, Benson didn't realise he could see the full length art. I mean, you get used to that, don't you? There's a lot of cards, a lot of concept art where you do only see some of the model. We're quite used to having to guess what the bottom half of the model looks like, but unfortunately this was fully available to us. Didn't just see it. Brown, I think brown's better for boots anyway, but on the artwork it does look more black. So you may want to paint that black and highlight with some gray, but we're gonna do it brown and highlight with lighter browns. But you can chop, change any of these colors in and out for anything that you want. We're just giving you an example here. Nagaroff Knight, Citadel's Dark Purple. That's to paint in, we don't know what, neither of us actually know what that is. Some sort of satchel, maybe a water container that's on his side. Mournfang Brown's back, just neat this time, and we're going to be painting in the crossbow, so all of the wood of the crossbow there. Um, just taking our time now, because obviously a lot of the model is painted and you need to be a little bit careful that you don't paint over his hands. That were done in Kislev flesh. It was shown in the video, but I didn't talk about that at the time. But his face and his hands are Kislev flesh. After the crossbow is done, just going back to Talon San. Now, Benson might not know the back of the card has the art on, but attention to detail here. He's painting in some sand on that sand timer. That looks fantastic in person. I don't know if anyone would ever look that closely, though, but it's not difficult to paint that bit in, so it's worth doing. 
Lead Belcher, the silver by Citadel, the darker one, and that's to paint in some of the silvers that you can see on the artwork, so the studs of his boots and then the bits of the crossbow, the arrowhead, the edges of the crossbow, the hilt and pommel of the swords, a couple of straps around the sheaths, and those studded, um, studded studs, sorry, those studs that are, are found on his, on his leg garment, that sort of padded area uh, that we did in Wasdaka Red. After that, the base coat's done, and Winston's going to do some shading. He's going to use Agrix Earth Shade, and that's to shade in the sorts of lighter colours, so those scrolls and his face, and as well as uh, his boots, so that's going to darken those down a little bit, and it'll apply some to the crossbow as well. After that bit, he's just going to water this down and apply a tiny, tiny, small amounts of this around the edge of his robe and his, his trousers and that sort of thing. So very, very light, <laughs> very light shading there. You shove two bones out to start the highlighting. This is to start highlighting back in those scrolls and his um, laces across his robe and the string around his crossbow as well. Steel Legion Drab is going to be applied with a dry brush across his hair. So that's just going to catch on all of those strands of hair that you can see in the detail and really make his hair stand out. Mithril Silver, that's the lighter silver by Citadel. And he's going to be applying this as a highlight to all of those lead belcher silver areas from before, just catching the edge of all of those bits, the sort of like middle of those studs across his, across his padded trousers um, and the edge of his crossbow. Basically a bunch of edge highlighting here just to make those colours stand out. Again, his left flesh, just back out to touch up anywhere that the Agrax Earthshade set up that Benson didn't want. So all the flat surfaces basically, just leaving that shade in all the recesses of his face and between his fingers. White Scar is going to get mixed in about 50-50 to highlight some more of the skin. Getting his nose, his brow, his lips, his chin, oh, not his chin because he's got a beard, don't do his chin. <laughs> and then all of his fingers and his knuckles. Mixing black and white together here to make grey. That's to highlight his sheaths for his sword, his dagger, the pouch for his um, papers and the edge of that hourglass. Xerius purple, that's to highlight that random bag that he's got round his side. So just catching the edges, any of the raised parts with that. And then golds out, and this is to highlight up that hash hook copper. So this is quite interesting. Benson um, paints gold quite differently to how I do it. He uses hash hook copper to do the sort of base coat and then highlights it in gold, whereas I just paint it in gold and then stain it, tarnish it with a black shader and then highlight it up in gold. I think it's quite interesting to see these different techniques. So watching different videos to see how we go about doing the same thing in completely different ways. Hopefully you guys think that's enjoyable too. Toxic boils, just neat, is gonna be used to highlight up Johannes's robe so he's just catching all the raised parts of all the folds and the edges of it that are showing corn red and wasdaka red have been mixed together here 50 50 to make an almost identical red benson's going to go to town on this robe and it's going to look fantastic at the end so here you can see he's just applying quite a generous wide layer along all the along all the folds all the raised parts of each of those folds of his robe really making it look like it's catching the light in the in the breeze and then just was Dacker red neat there just to paint in a final highlight along the very very edge of all those raised parts of of the uh, cloak so really making it look very very sort of 3d and bringing back out the detail and just making that look absolutely fantastic. It looks good on camera, that looks even better in person, and it just looks like real lights reflecting off of it. Talon stands out, and that's to highlight up his boots, which, as I mentioned, could have been done in black, so you might be highlighting in grey at this point, um, but you just want to do the same with the rest of the model. Just catch all the edges of the folds, all the raised parts of those brown areas, and then you want to do his crossbow exactly the same, nice flat raised corners. Use Shabti Bone just to highlight up those cufflink things he's wearing on the end of his hands, uh, sleeves, sorry. And then a bad and black just to paint in the base, as with all my heroes, that's just a plain black blade base, which is very, very easy to change anytime you want. And that's it, he's completely finished. Great, great job, And so One hour, 30 minutes, super fast. I think that would have taken me longer to open and close all the bottles of different paints. But I think that looks great. Do give Benson a thumbs up below if you enjoyed it. Big up Benson, leave him a comment. And just while we're here, 
That is the hobby holder that I use to paint my models on and that is a custom bespoke colour combination especially for watch it paint it. If anyone's interested in that drop me a message on Patreon. I'm just going to work out some way of getting those out to people who would like to support the channel and have a great way of holding your models while you paint. Thank you all very much for watching.